a real first look from us. You're just, you've just launched off Windows 8, a worldwide launch. We're giving a first look to everybody out here in India. And then we get Vikram to say good things about anything Microsoft. So I'm thrilled. But I also will say the same thing. I think it's intelligent. It's intuitive. It's, it's very quick. A person can get down to the basics very quickly. And then you can keep drilling in if you like. and understand Which is that. not to say that there are not problems with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to discuss But first, I think we should get everybody to take a look at it. a couple of minutes. But first, yes. yeah, I think Rajiv is right. Let's not just go on talking. Let's give you a detailed look at Windows 8. Here's what it can do. Windows 8 is one of the most important OS launches in the history of tech. Not only because it's a huge gamble for Microsoft, but it may also change the way we look at desktop computing forever. The biggest change is apparent right from the start. The whole interface is choose a kind of touch-friendly attitude that wasn't present in the previous versions. The login screen has now changed to a lock screen that you swipe up to begin your experience. In fact, swiping has become more important than ever here. The four corners of the screen are where all your commands lie now. Swiping in from the right of the screen gets you to the start menu. Swiping from the left is how you multitask between apps. Want to close apps? Just swipe downward from the top of the screen. Swiping upwards from the bottom of the screen gets you more options within that app. The home screen is no longer the desktop view you have been used to since Windows 95. Instead, we have what Microsoft calls the modern UI. You have on your main screen tons of live tiles which share information and constantly update, providing you with a quick glance at all your apps in one place. The home screen is also customizable. You can change the background onto which the tiles rest and you can also change the size of the tiles themselves. New to Windows 8 are apps. Available from the store are tons of apps in broad categories that you can download. Services like games, Xbox Live Music and Maps are also present here. Another neat feature is the People's Hub, where all your social networking accounts like Twitter and Facebook are synced together in one place to provide you with a place where you can see what all your friends are up to in one single glance. Mails also get the same treatment with all your accounts synced up in one place for easier access. But we do have to point out that when used with the keyboard and mouse, the interface though perfectly usable doesn't feel as intuitive. Overall, a major update to one of the most prolific OSs and a big gamble by Microsoft that may just pay off. Okay, Sangeet, the good, the bad, and the doubtful, which we need to discuss. The tiles obviously work. Mm. The name modern UI does modern. not work. Yeah, the modern part Modern is UI does not work. <laughs> I don't know why you call it modern UI, but the tiles definitely work. I think this is the sort of an OS that somebody who's never used computers mm. could figure out how to use in five minutes or yeah. ten minutes. And that's really a major step. I guess my first big question is, I know how well it works when you can do this right or in some of these devices you can just pull it off and on a tablet it will be absolutely fine yeah how would it work necessarily with a keyboard yeah uh, somebody used to windows 7 or xp or 95 or whatever there's a large install base out there for them on those machines how does it work yeah will, it, will they get the same sense yeah they will so i think the the first principle that we've done in terms of building windows 8 is make sure it's an awesome touch device and that it's really, really good for mouse and keyboard. So the start screen, which is the first place that you start, um, is really easy to uh, move with a mouse and keyboard. You can click the apps that you want. You can move um, left and right. You can pan and zoom left and right. And then you can do all the things that you might want to do inside those apps with the mouse and the keyboard. And then also that really comes to life if you're really going into content creation, right? If you want to type an email or you want to do something, then the mouse and keyboard can become very, very helpful and friendly to the user. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.